good. Another HP up. It's alright, calm down. We've almost got these guys cleared out. Enough of your silly games. I think not. Game over, pal. I won't be satisfied until I clear you all out of air. Welcome to the 10th floor. So good of you to join me. Thank you for your hospitality. And now to beat you to a pulp. Nice try, but the boardroom is up one more floor. There's a Carbos. A rare candy. And an Ultra Ball. So this is the top floor of this building. No, I don't, but we're about to make an appointment. You had a, just had a bunch of weak Pokemon, didn't you? Demolished. your step, my boss likes his Pokemon tough. Eh, we beat him once before and we'll beat him again. Alright, so we've got as far as we can go that way since the office to the, the president's room is blocked from that side. So we're gonna have to go this way. After we heal first. Don't worry, not giving up. 
Not after we've come this far. Yeah, because I actually treat my Pokemon right. I'm like you, losers. Pretty sure once we head to the next floor using this war pad, we're gonna be running into our rival. Oh, maybe not. I thought we were though. There he is. Alright, let's do this. What kept you? I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down, not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. You know, you probably could have helped with Team Rocket and all. Oh, you finally have a Pidgeot. That's Pid Pidgey and Pidgeotto's final form. Well, no matter. It's going to be defeated either way. Alright, fine, send out Gyarados. Not gonna do any better against Electrode. No. I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but what Dragon Rage does is it always does 40 damage no matter what. Blastoise out since he has Ice Beam now, but uh, nah, we'll just stick with Golbat. Now Venusaur, I don't know if we saw it already by this point, but it's the final evolution of Bulbasaur and Ivysaur. Everything it could learn, you have it using Sweet Scent. Not a very bright move there, Abba. And Alakazam. This one, this one will let like Blastoise handle. Ah, 
add those calm mines, so it's going to be increasing its special attack and special defense. I have to kill it quick. Alex Zam are very dangerous if they start using that. We'd be able to get an Alakazam if I could trade a, my Kadabra, but that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Alright, Atma defeated again. Oh man, so you are ready for Boss Rocket. Well, of course. Was there any doubt? Well, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokédex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I wouldn't call you a genius. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. There he goes. Yep, I'm here to save you. Oh, he gave us a Lapras! It's a Lapras. It's a very intelligent Pokémon. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you will be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift across water. Now that's a big hint to have a Pokémon with Surf if you don't have one by now. Because we will be needing Surf very soon. It up, so let's make our way towards the boss in this place. Team Rocket's boss went to the boardroom. It's a, is our president okay? I'm worried. Well, we'll go check on him. Stop right there, don't you move. Or else what? Oh, okay, this one actually has Psychic. It's a little scary. But we beat him anyway. So you want to see my boss? You bet I do. Oh, nice, a revive. That makes up for the one I had to use earlier. There you are, Giovanni. So we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters, or experience a world of pain. Bring it on, Giovanni! Blastoise. Nidoqueen's the final evolution of Nid Nid the Nidoran female. It's still a poison type, but it's also part ground type now. Oh, it actually has quite a bit of HP. 
but no matter. It's gonna be dead anyway. Kangas Kong. We'll send out Cubone. Arcanine's not careful, that might actually take him out. Rock Bless is essentially the rock version of Fury Attack. Yeah, I got him. I had a feeling that would happen, but... Lost again, Giovanni. Blast it all, you ruined our plans for self. But Team Rocket will never fall. Never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Yeah, yeah, buzz off, Giovanni. Are you two okay? Thank you for rescuing all of us. We, from the President down, are indebted to you. Oh dear boy, thank you for saving self. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Maybe this will do. Alright, we got ourselves a Master Ball. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. Alright. So now we have officially kicked the rockets out of the out of Silphco and from Saffron City as well. All right, so we are now done here. So, job well done. Yeah, Team Rocket is gone. It's safe to go out again. Yep, you guys are free. People fled from here in droves when those rockets came. They should be flocking back to Saffron now.
Yep, I beat them by myself. Well, I shouldn't be say by myself. My team helped me. I was given a PP up as a gift. It's used to increase the PP of a Pokemon's move. I should use it on a powerful move that doesn't have many. The copycat. Also, you might remember there was a person that was writing it in. There was a person in Vermilion City that was writing to someone in Saffron. It was that girl in that house. My daughter is so self-centered. She has but a few friends. Is she now? My daughter likes to mim mimic people. It's rather vexing. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. Now, if you have a Poké Doll, she will teach you the ability Mimic if you really wanted to. A game with Mario wearing a bucket on his head. Okay then. fleeing before me. Alright, the other thing we can do in Saffron now is we now have access to the gym. Now, we're not going to take on the, the Psychic Gym yet, we're going to go to the Fighting Dojo. So this isn't actually a this isn't actually a, a Pokemon gym. It's just a fighting dojo. Now I wonder if we'll initially initiate double battles like this. Nope, I guess not. This place, if you have any psychic or flying type moves, this is the place to use them. Here you're good, show me. You got it, boss.
Oh wow, he actually survived that. Prime fighters across the land train here. Our master is a pro fighter. Pre be prepared to lose. I highly, highly doubt that. You shatter boulders for training every day. Do you now? Yeah, we are in a dojo. We should have taken our shoes off, I guess. The only thing that frightens us, frightens us is psychic power. Well, technically, you should fear fighting, uh, flying types as well. Or small fry. Let's see how he'll handle my Kadabra. I am the Karate Master. I'm the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Bring it on! Blackboat Koichi. But both will fall to the power of Kadabra. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokémon. Choose whichever one you like. Now you can choose between either Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. I would always suggest going for Hitmonchan. That's, that takes care of the fighting dojo. Like I said, it's not an official Pokemon League gym, but if you want to, by all means do it, and you get a Pokemon out of it. Unfortunately, Hitmonchan isn't as good in this game because it is cool that he get, learns like fun, uh, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Ice Punch, but because all of the moves in this game are 
Oh, those three moves are classified as special attacks, and Hitmonchan doesn't have very high special attack, so he's not as useful in this game. In a game that's past Gen 4, though, he would be incredibly useful, since it would be based on his physical strength. Oh well, Hitmonchan's still a cool, a cool Pokémon. Check out his data real quick. If I can find him. There you are. The spirit of a pro boxer has infused this Pokémon. It throws punches that are faster than a bullet train. Alright guys, so that's probably going to be a good stopping point for me for today. When you guys join me next time... Oh, actually, I still got... I should show Lapras as well. Yeah, since I caught that as well. Or was given it, rather. There you are. Its high intelligence enables it to understand human speech. It likes to ferry people on its back. Okay, so as I was about to say, this would be a good stopping point for me for today. When you guys join me next time, we'll be facing off against Sabrina's gym, Sabrina's psychic gym in Saffron City. So I'll see you then, guys.